Allah said nine years before Badr that on that day Muslims will be extremely happy. SubhanAllah. He didn't just talk about the Romans winning. Allah even talked about the Muslims winning. And they didn't even know. They thought they're just going to be happy because of the Romans. But Allah Azza wa Jalla even informed them they'll be happy because of the Battle of Badr. So when they go back and read the surah now, when the, when the Sahaba, this book in surah, it was revealed nine years ago. When they read it again, their eyes, their eyes start tearing. Subhanallah. You know, ma, they say, you know, uh, uh, what, we, what we read in, in Surah Al-Ahzab, Sadaqallahu wa Rasuluhu. Allah and His Messenger spoke the truth. The Qur'an is true. This is how they experienced the power of the Qur'an. You know? And then, and Allah used this, and this is the last thing I'll share with you, Allah used this event to say something very beautiful. This is a miracle. And anybody who sees it in nine years, it's an impossible comeback for the Romans, and how could the Prophet have known, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It's incredible. But Allah, in the rest of the surah that we heard today, you know what He does? He says, that's not the real miracle, that's just one small thing. There are so many miracles all around you. You don't even pay attention. وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ خَلْقُكُمْ خَلَقَكُمْ مِنْ تُرَابٍ وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمًا out of his miracles is your marriage, your spouse, the fact that you get up every morning, that you're able to go to work, that you see every single creature on this earth that is alive, has hunger, and every single one of them is fed by Allah. Now that's a miracle. If you think this is a miracle, this is just one thing. There are so many other things you should have been appreciating all along about Allah. But you have to wait for something like this to happen before you say Allahu Akbar. You know? It's, it's beautiful how the surah transitions into the ayat of Allah, the, the, the gifts of Allah all around us. And so the last comment now, what kind of person does not benefit from the gifts of Allah all around them? A person who's immersed in entertainment, who's so lost in entertaining themselves between the music and the movies and the video games and the, you know, the card game or this or, and small talk and nonsense. They, if that's, this is what their life has become, how are they going to appreciate the ayat of Allah? Who's gonna do that? Who's gonna even look, look outside at the sun and say, SubhanAllah, Allah still held it up. Every single night our soul is taken. Every single night our soul is taken. And every single night the angels ask before it's brought back, Ya Allah, what about this one? You wanna send it back? You wanna you know, pull the plug or should we, should we keep the ruh? And every night Allah gives permission to the angel, okay, let him live one more time. Every night. This is mentioned in Allah's book. This is the reality of our life, you know? But so we don't even think about it because we're too immersed in, in entertainment. Watching movies all night. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Ramadan. So, you know, after Taraweeh, we're up anyway. So might as well entertain ourselves a little. And then barely waking up and then passing out again. This is our life, subhanAllah. May Allah Azza wa Jalla make us of those who wake up this Ramadan.